But uh, yeah, none of that was true. <laughs> None of that was true at all, and I got away with it. That teacher's watching this right now. I know. Yeah. I feel so bad. She was really nice. I was asleep every night, just like racked with guilt. So the movie itself, full of twists, like every maybe 30 minutes, I was like, wait, what? Having to like rewind and try to figure things out. And with the most respect, all three of you are excellent at playing liars. Because I was like, wait, no, I thought I trusted this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it was more lies. In real life, I want to know, what's like the biggest lie you say you've like successfully gotten away with? I have one, but it's really dark. Okay. Do you remember what I said? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yes, yeah. I do. Should I say it? Yeah. I once convinced my, this is really messed up. I once uh, in high school was bored in class and so I left and then the teacher got mad at me and I told her that my mom had texted me and told me that we were getting evicted and that I was so distraught and I had to leave. And then I like cried. Dude, that's did you actually let tears true. come out? Yeah, of course. Yeah, come on, man. There you go. The, the early days of but, acting. But uh, yeah, none of that was true. <laughs> None of that was true at all, and I got away with it. That teacher's watching this right now. I know. Yeah. I feel so bad. She was really nice, too. Oh, oh, no. She gave me a big hug. She's like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. It was really messed up. I'm a bad person. <laughs> or just a really good actor. Yeah, yeah. both. <laughs> both can be true. Yeah, both can be true. <laughs> Brianna, when have you lied? No, I'm such a bad liar. Like I, could st I lied about... Um, a friend of mine was over at my house in third grade, and she. I, I accidentally... We were like... Did I dialing 911? It's 999 here. 999 isn't it? Here. We were dialing 911 and like pressing end and like having like a high with it. And I accidentally <gasps> pressed call and called the police. Oh, God. And uh, they came and I blamed it on her. And then I was asleep every night, just like wrecked with guilt <laughs> as a third grader. And then finally, in the middle of the night, I got up and tap my mom crying like it was me oh. <laughs> she's like okay <laughs> what about you Sebastian oh, I was saying with Julianne yesterday like and she did this too she said um, I used to just lie on, on auditions yes. <laughs> and they'd be like have you ever jumped out of a plane I'd be like yes <laughs> <laughs> you can ride a motorcycle absolutely totally. you know? how yet. about a horse all the time, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that was just to get the part right, just give me the thing and then I'll figure day. it out yeah. you know now who out of the three of you do you think is like the best liar like have you lied to each other or think you've gotten away with it on that John let's go yeah, I'm, I'm shit. The sweetest <laughs> so nice. on this planet. Like, yeah, so, so um, nice. He was so nice that it was like almost hard to work with him. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys are playing characters that also are playing characters essentially over in this movie. Are there any challenges to, to that, like as actors, to essentially act, <clears throat> acting? That was the hard part with this movie. Yeah. It was like, it's like you couldn't, when we were doing the scenes, at least for me, like I couldn't forget about how the audience was going to perceive this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kind of trying to figure out how to do it honestly, but then like play into the audience's expectations that you would be assuming it, that they should be having at that point. But that's, you know, Ben was really good with that. Like yeah. I think he always knew kind of go like, oh, in this moment, maybe, you know, you could go a little further, or maybe less is more, you know. Especially your character in particular, and characters you played in the past. Recently, I realized you're really good at playing dark, scary, if you don't mind me saying, creepy characters. Right. Obviously, you've been quite well known up until recently to playing, you know, the good guy, you know, Bucky and all that sort of stuff. What is it, do you find like dark characters more appealing to, to act in? I'm gonna steal what Julianne said yesterday, okay? And what she said is like, it's just, they're more complicated and mm -hmm. that's the fun part, you know? It's like trying to, you know, get, get around something that doesn't reveal itself to you ultimately yeah. so quickly. I think, I think in life, you know, people are tricky. Yeah. And people, um, like this movie for instance, it's so often in life we meet people and we get an impression about them and mm -hmm. You know, they're giving you a version that, you know, they think maybe you'd want to see or that they've worked on. That's how they see themselves. But deep, deep down, they end up, you know, they've got other things that they're protecting and they're guarding. I mean, we all kind of do that game with each other. It's just yeah. certain people that go further and manipulate it. And then we often look the, the reason it gets tricky, like in this movie, it's like sometimes you go and you and you and you just you don't want to see red flags. You want to yeah. see what you want to see. Yeah. Mm, you know, mm -hmm. and then if you get that person that's conscious of that and he's using that against you mm -hmm. or whatever because they want to get you to like them or 
for whatever yeah. reason, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a horrible reason, but um, then you're only gonna see what you wanna see. And yeah, so yeah. you're vulnerable to that too. And I thought that was really interesting to explore because sure. that's a life thing, yeah. Yeah. you know? It's just in our movie, it's just more extreme. Yeah, but yeah, that's, it's essentially just like a who do you trust? Yeah, I mean, who yeah. goes out there and is like, you know, I'm like the angel of, it's just, yeah. people are complicated. and and. Good people are capable of wild, crazy things mm -hmm. in extreme circumstances, and sometimes people that are not that great still can find empathy. Justice, your character works at a bookshop in this movie, yeah. big book fan, aspiring author. Are you much of a book reader yourself? Not particularly, no. No? no. I read a... some books. <laughs> I read Jane Eyre for this movie, and I read Anna Karenina, half of it, and uh, I have a favorite book. What's your favorite, What's your favorite book? book? Screw Table Letters. Oh, right. C.S. Lewis. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, it's a really good book, um, but no. I, again, I, I have a, I have a brain problem, and so it's hard for me to focus <laughs> on things. <laughs> what, about, what about you guys? Uh, Freshwater by Akweke Emetsi. Ah. Yeah, it's a great okay. book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite book of all time. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sebastian. I used to love this book called Still Life with a Woodpecker. Mm -hmm. Such a weird book. It's so crazy. They should make it into a movie. Huh? They probably tried. But I do try to read, you know, I do. I, it's like now, weirdly, I find like I, sometimes I can, and this is sad, I can concentrate sometimes like, depending on the book, on I could read it on the phone. Mm. Interesting. I, I would actually go to auditions and read. I, like I would sit in auditions like with a room full of people waiting to go in and I would like read because it would, it would distract me from, you know, being right. like, being like, oh my God, I can hear the person in the room and mm. like all these other people, who's gonna get it, like all that stuff. Yeah. So it can actually kind of like, like focus me, yeah. yeah. It, we should keep reading. Love that. Well, thank you so much, guys, for your time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice so one, guys. Much.